So I want to explain a critical element missing in the overall collapse of the sports card market. Uh, the Luca card that sold, uh, it sold for a million dollars less than it supposedly, again, transparency being a key issue. Uh, we have, of course, my favorite topic, the Marvel PMG set, which sold for 200,000 and sold for less than 10,000 with a net loss of 95% in the span of six months, exactly the same PMGs, exactly the same grades. Uh, maybe the ID numbers are different from the grading company. So maybe it's not exactly the same person who's uh, the buyer and seller is not the exact same person, but it's close enough, right? It was actually on the same auction website as well. So, I mean, any similarities that you can draw, you can draw from this one set, right? And uh, we, we have other very famous sports cards going for way under. And I think what's happening with the crash of the market is something that is even bigger. And something that I try, I go on Reddit sometimes, I try to explain this to crypto bros, and they don't really understand this concept of cheap money versus expensive money. I've made a video about magic on it, but I wanna make a video about sports cards because magic didn't really see that big of an increase, sports cards did. Cheap money means money is available very easily. Uh, maybe there's uh, stimulus checks, maybe there are unemployment benefits. So if you work at McDonald's or you work as a pool cleaner like Sasha T and then you file for unemployment benefits, assuming he did, and now you're getting paid more money than ever. There's a very amazing Vice uh, documentary on just gangs, gang members, uh, they would each have a thousand different unemployed people underneath them and they would be collecting, you know, a thousand different unemployment debit cards. And during uh, this period in time, they embezzled, they, they stole billions of dollars. They made more money from this than selling drugs. So they actually gave up selling drugs and moved just to uh, this unemployment scam. A amazing documentary, right? The guy's got like a thousand, I mean, it's, it's wild. Um, it's wild, right? So maybe drug ab drug abuse was lower at that time because everyone selling drugs realized that they could make far more money, a thousand times more money doing this unemployment scam. Now we also had uh, PPP loans being given out like candy and there was no, everything was forgiven. Everyone basically got a giant PPP loan for uh, X million dollars and went on their way. Some people, were caught, you know, one person was famously caught for taking a PPP loan to buy a first edition Charizard. That's why he needed the loan. <laughs> so then he was caught, he was sentenced. I think he's in jail. I'm not sure what happened, but there's a famous news article about that that came out a while back. So you had a lot of money, a lot of easy, free money, risk free money and what, the reason it's risk free is it's not really your money. So if you're not unemployed or if you are unemployed in any other time in the government history, you wouldn't have received the additional benefits from the federal, which is 600 on top of the additional state benefits that a lot of states were adding more money. Uh, you would not have got the stimulus check. That's very unlikely. You know, it's very, very rare occurrence that the government actually gives us money, right? Most times they takes us, takes away money from us. Uh, and a lot of other things were happening at the same time. Um, and all uh, low interest rates, you know, every, everything was almost a 0% interest rate. The Fed was not worried about inflation like it is today and upping the interest rate. You have uh, the moratorium and eviction. So like, if you are a degen gambler, what a time to be alive, man. You gamble, you lost your job. Hey, that's okay. I get more, I get paid five times more from unemployment. All right, hey, my landlord wants to evict me. Oh, too bad he cannot. You know, like I can't. I'm not going to pay him the rent. I'm going to start. I'm going to collect my unemployment check and not pay him the rent because I don't need to, and he can't do a damn blank to stop me. When you have a just a whirlwind where the riskier the gamble, like crypto, and that's why crypto hit sixty-five thousand at this time. The riskier the gamble the more it made sense because if you went to zero, it doesn't matter. It's not your money or it wasn't the, the way that you would think of it is I didn't earn, I guess I didn't earn this money by working. I received it from either the government or I applied for a business loan and I did, you know, whatever. A lot of people apply for PPP loans. They put it straight into crypto. At times where money is cheap 
and money is plentiful, risky investments make a lot of sense because you want to maximize your return during that period in time. Times like today when money is expensive, and what I mean by money is expensive, interest rates are high. If you were to borrow money, it would cost you a very high interest rate and they would actually be much more skeptical. They would be much more, un more unwilling to lend you money than before, even at the higher interest rates. So we have a interesting situation where a lot of people now are trying to understand why are sports cards not as valuable as they are before. It's not just the cards have gone down in price or maybe this athlete has not done so well. And it's the whole system um, is has gone gone back. It has reversed. When money is when you can get a CD for four or five percent guaranteed. When you can get a bond, a state or government bond for 8%, when you can get a, you know, let's say a pretty solid company like Home Depot for 12, 13%. Uh, yeah, there are better and safer ways to make an investment today, right? The bonds and the interest rate and the CD rate back then was like less than like a percent or something. So what I'm saying is it's not even the fact that cards are less popular or whatever and you know, oh, COVID and people can go outside on vacation. It's actually the whole economical system is no longer willing to take on the risk that it was taking on just a few years ago because the interest rates are not there. Money is expensive right now. To borrow money is expensive today. So are you really gonna borrow money and put it into a risky investment that doesn't, that? No, may may fail. No. When money is available, it is free. It is cheap, right? Everyone just wants to take as much money, PPP loan money as possible. It's really no risk. There's no there's no risk, right? Because it's not really your money. It's the taxpayer's money that you're going to embezzle and spend on sports cards. And that's the big difference. Uh, and you see this in crypto, baby. Uh, crypto is the same thing. People are in crypto are very shocked. Like, why is Bitcoin go from 60 to 16? Or, you know, why? Oh, it's because of FTX. It's of, no, these are, these are definitely indications of things and people who are very bad to, you know, and they have to eventually be weeded out anyway. But in my opinion, it doesn't, it does the overall market and how the market has been moving from very, very low interest rates to very, very high interest rates. We know that because the Fed is bumping up the interest rate every month until they get inflation under control, right? They've made, you know, it's called like a super interest hike, a super hike or something. And, you know, I mean, I mean they're not even done bumping up. We're at, our inflation is 7.7%. .7%. They wanted to be at two all, I mean, maybe they don't bump it up 0. 75 points every time. Maybe they bump it up 50 points or 25 points a little later on, but there's still, every time that interest rate bumps up, it becomes more expensive to borrow money. And are you really gonna borrow money to buy sports cards today and try to double your, no, you're not. Money is expensive today. Money was cheap yesterday. So even from a economical standpoint, when money is cheap, yes, you can make risky investments and do incredibly well, like crypto. When money is expensive, you gotta be more careful because any mistake, any time that it drops, and I mean, you're paying back that money with much higher interest rates and there will be a debt and the bank is not going to, you know, the bank will call on its loan as soon as something is looks like it's going wrong. Oh, hey, bank, I'm gonna take this loan and buy a, a sports card. Okay. Hey, how's that sports card doing today? Oh, I lost my, okay, no, we're taking your loan. Get, get out. <laughs> Bye, guys.